Hello, I am Matt, and welcome back to Matt Plays Total Extreme Wrestling 2013. Um, I recorded an episode earlier today, but it, it was just kind of pointless, because <laughs> I wasn't really doing anything, I was kind of messing around, and I was like, whatever, this isn't even worth putting up. Anyway, uh, I kind of started over, I did, well, I did what we were doing last time, but I kind of messed around and started over a little bit, so uh, I don't remember exactly what I did in the last video. So if I go over anything that I've already done, I apologize. We've signed some people. Bret Hart. Fantastic. Cactus Jack. Fantastic again. Eric Bischoff, who is an authority figure, but we're going to use him as a uh, color commentator. Uh, Gene Okerlund, who does not have a push yet. Oh, because he's not here. He hasn't started working yet. Gene Okerlund, that's uh, great. Um, I'm missing somebody, I think. Sherry Martell, who is going to be a manager when she gets here. She's not here yet. Sting. Sting, who is into a written contract because we, we want to build him as our franchise, obviously. And Woman, who is paired up with Kevin Sullivan, her husband at the time. So that makes sense, and Paul Jones doesn't have a picture. I don't know why. Okay. Anybody else not have a picture? Bobby Eaton doesn't. Don't know why that is. Uh, Bobby Eaton? He does now. Red Heart, Cactus... So, Dark Journey, I'm gonna have to get a picture for Dark Journey. She just doesn't have one. Some of these people who we're going to let go, so we don't care if they have pictures. Like, Heidi Lee Morgan, we have to get a picture for her. Cornette doesn't... Why does Cornette not have a picture? There we go. Okay. And Kendall Wyndham doesn't, but he's not going to be here long. That's okay. Magnum... Um, Mike Rotunda doesn't have a picture. IRS does not have a picture. This is not right. <laughs> we should turn him into IRS. Um, good. Actually, we should bring the Varsity Club in. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Alright. Ricky Morton doesn't... What is with these picture... What is with this picture pack? Ricky Morton... Well, he does now. And Gibson doesn't have a picture either. Robert Gibson, he does now. Alright, Rocky King, Ron Simmons. Yep. <clears throat> Pez Watley. Is there a different Tilo picture? Because that's. Yeah. How about this one? Um, would he like to be a manager, maybe? No? Okay. Like some of these guys, like I said, we're not going to even bother with pictures, because, you know, who cares? Okay, we're good with that. And one stupid thing I did, it's not really stupid, I'm glad I did it, but, you know, it's what I guess. We ended all the storylines, because I don't really like to start in with, you know, already sort of preset storylines, I like to do my own. So we have Rude Awakening, which is going to be a, a thing between Rick Rude and Cactus Jack. And we're going to bring Paul Heyman into that. Uh, we're going to turn Arn Anderson face and have him go up against Flair and put the title on Arn at some point. We have the franchise, Sting will be going against Kevin Sullivan, and we're going to use that as a way to bring in the Varsity Club, I've just decided. And the revolution will be televised, because we're going to have, basically we're going to have Sting and uh, Arn and Brett sort of team up to take down the uh, horsemen. Sort of like back when WWE was doing the revolution against uh, Evolution, which was like one of my favorite times in, in wrestling back then, when they were doing, like it was uh, Jericho, Benoit, Maven, and Orton, and they were going against uh, against Evolution. It was really cool. They ended up doing a Survivor Series match, and uh, it was a traditional Survivor Series elimination match, and the winning team got to run Raw for the next week. It was really cool. 
Those are my favorite things they ever did. We can't look at decisions. We have some contracts out. But let's book the show, huh? Let's get let's get to it. Where are we at today? We are in the Beard Eves Coliseum in uh, Alabama, yes? Yes. Alrighty. Now let's see. For titles, we're actually going to take the titles off of Rude and Manny Fernandez because we're going to gonna give Rude the United States title. So let's do that right now. Oh, we have uh, the Rockers coming in as well. Okay, so we're going to do... Rick Rude and Manny Fernandez, and they're going to go up against... You know what? Rock and Roll Express. Sure. So, awesome twosome against the Rock and Roll Express. What are the limits for this? Seven for a major... Or I'm sorry, 16 minutes for a major, 10 for medium. This is just a little... I don't make it a medium. Awesome twosome versus the Rock and Roll Express for the World Tag Team titles. Give Robert the win over... Not Rude. Manny Fernandez in an open match. Fantastic. Alright, so that's it done. And we're gonna do give our fans something special tonight. We're gonna have Flair. Not storylines. We're gonna have Flair. You know what? Let's not do that. Well, yeah, we can do that. Because we're gonna build the Iron Hort face turn. So we're gonna have Oh, sh oh, okay. I'm right. Okay, Flair against somebody. Perry Wyndham? Sure. For the title, what's for a major? 16 minutes. So they'll, they'll go 16 minutes versus Wyndham for the World Heavyweight Championship. Flair wins via a pinfall because it's going to be a tainted win. Thanks to a distraction on Barry from Arn. Oops. And that'll be your main event. And we're going to have a hype. Actually, before we do this, I want to go into uh, announcers. For a World Championship Wrestling, we're going to have Tony Schiavone, Jim Ross, and... Eric Bischoff. <laughs> that, that that's a commentary team, man. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be so good. Let's put it over here as well. Jim Ross, Tony Giovanni, and Eric Bischoff. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's a that's a commentary team, bro. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay. I love Tony Giovanni, by the way. I'm a Tony Giovanni fan. I gotta tell you. Alright, so we're going to have, you know what, actually, let's go into storylines, and in the revolution will be televised, we'll add Barry, so that this can add to the storyline, major role, I lied with nobody, did I, wait, did I put him in the right one, did I, was that the right one, revolution televised, yeah, okay, good, alright, okay, so let's have a, Hype. Say a backstage interview. We'll make it a two on one. Well, I don't know. There's, we don't have uh, Okerlund here yet. Uh, I guess we could do have Bischoff do it. Yeah. Just for now, until. So, Arn Anderson and how about Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, talk about Barry Windham. Oh, shit. Horseman interview about Barry. And Flair will be wooing for about eight minutes. You know he could do it. Oh, Eric Bischoff wants to be unscripted. Really? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so what are the storylines we need to do? That, that, no, 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 
Brett needs to have a win of some kind. Yeah. He could go over Tully tonight, I guess. Is he even here tonight? I should check. No. Did his contract not start yet? Contract hasn't begun. Oh yeah, his contract hasn't begun. Okay, well. Alright, then I guess Brett doesn't get a win. <laughs> uh, who could use a win? Or, you know, I'm sure there's a heal, maybe, who needs one. Sullivan? Yeah, actually Tully could defend that title tonight, I guess. Against some jobber. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's just do Tully versus Mike Graham for 10 minutes for the TV title. Tully with the decisive win. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Move that right there. We'll have the, the title match up on the show. Horseman interview, then Mike Graham versus Tully. Now, I wanted to give Ron Simmons a win over somebody, because Ron's another one we're going to try to build. So Ron versus, hmm, oh, Cactus is a heel? Ooh, we'll change that. We'll have to change that. Let's do it right now. Because if he's going to be feuding with Rude, he needs to be a face. And he hasn't debuted yet, so we can change it, no matter what. Alright, now, we're going to put Ron over someone. Who? I don't know, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Dickie Murdoch? Yeah. Over Dickie Murdoch. On with win. Oh, Dick's in half. Yeah, you know what? Uh, let's change that up. Let's see, Ron Simmons over... <coughs> excuse me, over... <coughs> Tommy Angel. Well, that sounds good to me. Ron Simmons, decisive win. Alright, we do need more angles, I know, but... I wanted to have a tag match. With... Arn Anderson. And Alex Luger. Again, uh, the Monkey Brothers. Arn Anderson with the win. Seventeen more minutes. All right. How about? How about we just do, like, an argument of some kind? Between Cactus and Rick Rude. Say it happens, like, after the match and they get into an argument of some kind. Cactus argues with Rude. Go. Have that after that match, sort of, you know, they get into an argument and that's how the whole thing starts. All right. Who are we missing? Oh, Dusty. Hmm. How about... Hmm. So how about Dusty... versus Big Boss Man? Sure. 
Sure. And Dusty with the win. Good. Move it up a little bit. And we will have another argument. between say Heidi Lee Morgan Cat LaRue and Bischoff Bischoff books match for next week because we don't have time for it this week could put it on the pre-show but you know oh, son of a bitch Bischoff books match for next week Oh, Eric, come on. Kill me. Alright. Now, this is probably be a bad show. <laughs> you know what? Eh, what can you do? And Bischoff's just standing in for Okerlund. Once Okerlund gets here, gets here, we'll be able to have him do all that. I had Okerlund was in here, he rifled my wallet. <laughs> uh, anybody we didn't use that we care about? Mm, not really. Alright. <clears throat> Good, good, good. Run it. Hit it. So, Paul Jones and Rick Rude are a good pairing. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rude Awakening performed well. Yeah, that's fine. Ron Simmons is off his game, huh? Oh. <laughs> Let's get to know that Anderson and Luger have no chemistry. See, I keep thinking that, you know... Wow, Eric Bischoff has debuted in his sportscaster gimmick an initial rating of 95. That's fantastic. Eric Bischoff... Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll fix it later. Okay, Rhodes and Bossman don't click. That's... Oh my god. That was not good at all. Uh, no pre looking. Okay... Probably improving in technical skills. Oh. Ooh. Uh, Barry's improving in technical skills. Fantastic. Losses. <laughs> it was still a C show, I mean, you know? Alright. So there you go. Here we go. Emails and decisions. Check the emails first. Alright, so Cornette's leaving. That's fine, ultimately, because we're ringing to Paul Heyman, so... I, I think. <laughs> I hope we are. Alright, so Lawler's gonna be a face. We can turn him heel later if we want to. Marty... And Sean. Cool. Alright, so Lawler... Main Eventer, obviously. What kind of Lawler picks do they have? Different ones, maybe? No, not not old Jerry. Yeah, no, it's fine. Well, we'll use him that one for when he's a heel. <laughs> okay. Now, what else? Uh, Marty needs a thing. Good. Yes. Fantastic. He's a mid carter. Oh, not a mid eventer. No, no, no. And Sean. Mid carter, obviously. Wonderful. Um. Any more decisions that they're waiting on? Paul Heyman. Oh yeah, Leon White. We got Vader coming in, hopefully. Alright. Now, is there something else I wanted to do quickly? Oh yeah, storylines. How are they doing? So we're failing it, but hopefully they'll get over. So Enforcer goes his own way. That's going to be big. I think that's going to be a hot story. The franchise, that hasn't started yet because Sting isn't here. He will be here for the next Saturday Night Taping. Though. That has not started? Why? Oh, because... Okay, yeah, okay. I understand. 
I understand. Oh, we should have did Tully and... Ah, why didn't I think of that? We should have did Brett and Dusty against Tully and Arn. Ah, we'll do that this week. I didn't even think of that. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. So, if we take a look... Yeah, yeah. Alright. Well, this has been going on so long, so... Next time, we'll be here. I think Lizzie might be with me next time. Uh, I'm gonna talk to her. Um, cause it's, she's sleeping where she is right now. But, um, hopefully uh, next time she'll be with me and we'll do this together. Um, we did record a couple episodes, but like I you know, I mentioned that I kind of started over because I didn't like where it was going. So, we'll come back with uh, more of Matt Play's uh, TW, TW 2013. I've been Matt, this has been two, and we'll see you in the next one.